So today I have a device in front of me that has a feature that I haven't seen before in a laptop. Some of the most effective no glasses 3D that I have experienced. And I got an early kind of demo and opportunity to check out the tech. Really where this shines is when you're looking at a 3D object which presents itself almost like a hologram in front of the display with incredible distance from the display. This is some of the coolest demonstration capability I've ever seen. You're examining a 3D object in space. It's gonna be very difficult to show this off in video. We're gonna be trying some interesting filming techniques in order to simulate the head tracking capability on this display. The model is the ProArt StudioBook 16 3D OLED. You can see the components up in the top portion of the screen here that are gonna be capable of doing the head tracking. Uh, you'll also, on the final version, have a front-facing camera in the center. This model doesn't have that yet. Now, because you have an OLED screen, that's what makes the 3D so convincing because you've got all the benefits of OLED and high resolution. And this laptop on its own without the 3D function is already a comprehensive workstation capable of all types of creative tasks. It even has some hardware here in the form of this dial, which has specific capabilities built in per application. As you can see, I'm inside the dial configuration. Depending on the application that I'm using, it will automatically change to commonly used presets. I can also do custom configuration, Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, or you could just use it for media functionality. You just wanna quickly turn the volume up or down. This is a really satisfying dial. They're thinking about the creative applications. They're thinking about content creators. The touchpad is capable of pen input, similar to a Wacom tablet. Powerful specifications, including up to 64 gigs of RAM, eight terabytes of PCIe 4.0 SSD storage. You have two M.2 slots in here. It has 150 watt CPU plus GPU performance. We have RTX capabilities in here. Yes, of course, you can throw games at it as well. HDMI 2.1 supporting up to 8K 60 Hertz or 4K 120 Hertz. And I did say it is a high resolution display to be more specific, 16 inches diagonal, 16 by 10 for a little bit more vertical workspace. So that's 3200 by 2000, a very brilliant brilliant display before you even start talking about 3D functionality. There's two times Thunderbolt 4 ports. Oh, and obviously the chip, Intel Core HX series CPUs, so top of the line CPUs. You have that spec sheet and a relatively portable package, USB A times one on the left-hand side. You also have an analog audio port. There's an SD card slot on the back. We have an ethernet port as well as our barrel style power connector, full size HDMI. And on the other side, a one more USB-A port and those two Thunderbolt 4 ports. The entire design is very understated. Matte black finish on there, including on the inside on the deck. We have some interesting textures used for the directional keys so you can quickly distinguish them from the rest of the keyboard. The whole thing is extremely sturdy and solid. Metallic components are in use all over the place here. I'm spinning the wheel. There's a new ProArt mouse MD300, and this has a very satisfying secondary wheel on it as well. I've just started experimenting with it, but it integrates very nicely into the StudioBook series here, and having that secondary, smooth, precise input is also gonna have capabilities in those same applications where you can use this wheel or this wheel. Just before we get into the testing of the laptop, I've been told that there's something very special here as well, which is exclusive to this unboxing video. It says ProArt on the top. That's honestly all that I know about it. A pro art vacuum insulated. Now you're now I've got Mo's attention. Rounding out the pro art look with the mouse and the mug and the pen holder. And lastly, ooh, the pro art desk mat. Picture our setup. We're gonna do the whole pro art setup. Tumbler, pen holder, 16 studio, and don't forget the new pro art mouse. There's something aesthetically pleasing about the whole 
matte, blacked out, simple designs and shapes on the table right now. We are gonna attempt to showcase the 3D capabilities on what is some of the most impressive glasses list 3D that I've ever been a part of. It will go into 3D mode, whether it is a 3D object that you're analyzing or whether you're watching the new avatar that just came out. I don't know, you might've heard. To start with, I'm gonna open the model viewer. I move and the item moves, which allows me to view and examine different angles of it. Zoom in, and it feels as though to me, the hand of this robot is somewhere here for me. That's how far out of the display it's popping. So here we have a B. This B is standing on top of my laptop. For you to see the 3D, you will need to be inserting B-roll right now using a mask of my face, I'm not lying. In order to, uh, to attempt to film this 3D effect, this face will fool the head tracking. This piece actually pops out like that, all right? And now you're like, this just got even weirder. We're gonna stick a camera through the opening in order to film the display head on. Very difficult to show off in video, and still, obviously, the best demo is going to be in real life. This is my favorite one. And uh, again, hopefully you're getting a decent demonstration of this. But I feel like I can grab this figure, right? There's something about the detail and the perception here, which is fooling my mind better than maybe any 3D experience previous. This is a different proposition. This is saying, hey, what about 3D modeling? What about all the things that people are thinking about doing in headsets? What if we can have that in a form factor? You can just put it in your bag. You can show to anyone with no special equipment. So we're gonna be careful here because this is a, a movie trailer, kind of a popular film. What I'm experiencing right now with this trailer, even just this one single frame is a typical 3D experience as you knew it. Now I can adjust that based on this little slider. So I have in or out. Out makes it feel closer to the 3D objects I was examining earlier, that they're like sort of out here. And then in is kind of like you're looking through a window with varying degrees of depth, which might be more comfortable for movie watching. This proposition is so different than what has existed on TVs in the past or even for gaming. The technology in this laptop is targeted at creators. Creators have a different reason that they might wanna use 3D. We can watch a 3D film on here with head tracking and no glasses. And one of my favorite things about this entire experience is that as you launch into a 3D piece of content, the display figures it out on its own. Now, one year ago, I featured the previous version of this laptop in its retail form, not in its prototype version. It did not feature the 3D display. If you're interested in the hardware of this laptop, definitely go check out the original video uh, from about a year ago. I'll link it in the description here. This 3D uh, functionality here is something special. It's something different. With this creator target, maybe people are gonna find new ways in which to utilize it. You have the thing that you've built and you show up for the demonstration and then you show them on the laptop and they're like, ooh. Ah, the technology is pretty cool at the moment. There you have it. It's the latest. That's the Pro Art Studio Book 16 for 2023 with the 3D head tracking option installed. So the samples that were featured in this video actually feature a specialized custom 30 series GPU. And this is just because they're early models. Actually, the GPUs are hardware disabled for preview purposes. But when these things eventually ship and you guys can buy them, obviously they're going to have next-gen GPUs in them, and that'll be at some point in 2023.